hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel nigeria over the years over decades now have been known as giant of africa apart from the economic strength it has also to do with population and the fact that expectations were very high from nigeria as a nation and from nigerian people because of the many diversities and many potentials in nigeria and in nigerians but right now it looks like um Nigeria now is now a reference point for so many things negative and this has prompted a lot of presses prominent Africans uh, pan-african uh, professors are beginning to look at Nigeria as a case study and it's quite worrisome and to worsen it okay they have decided to speak up over the issues going on in Nigeria but shockingly uh, so very prominent uh, uh, northern politician I'm talking about Gaba himself have decided to take Professor himself, the professor, Professor Lombomba, to the cleaners, and Nigerians and other Africans have decided to, you know, go into the matter. It is going to be after this whole news. We leave it up to you to judge. Is it what you know, what being criticised, or is the professor right? I have my standpoint, but let's go straight into the news. Before we do so, like it, subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Our great country, Nigeria, has really gone through a lot in recent times with the increasing national abnormalities that have so much affected the country, including agitation for some groups like Biafra and Odudua. You will agree that the leadership of the country has really failed us. Few days ago, the Yoruba protested against bad governance and many more citizens are lamenting over same issues during an event the noble pro blow lobomba that's professor lobomba bluntly expressed his displeasure over the bad governance of nigeria by asking sensitive and breathtaking questions he asked if the honorable mem members are still what they are called or are they now horrible members hmm furthermore he declared that we live in a continent where legislators are measured by the number of funerals they attend and they and the efficacies of the work is measured by the number of weddings they attend he continued to say more mm. but adamu gaba too they also decided to call out professor lobomba for trespassing into nigerian affairs stating that a Kenyan has nothing to do with the affairs of Nigeria. See some of the words he said. And I quote, he said, How can a Kenyan, a Kenyan man come to Nigeria and say this to our parliament, parliamentarians? Even if they are what he is, but that judgment should be left to Nigerians, not Kenyans. I'm quoting what Adam Ogaba said. A country with $1,250 per capita GDP and 52 million people with its predominant population living in rural communities with the largest slum in the world should not come to Nigeria and say what they like to our political leaders. No matter how bad they are, while Nigeria have over 200 million people with $2,300 per capita GDP, by all standards, Nigeria and Kenya are not mates. This is not good, nor laudable or worthy of celebration by Nigerians. The truth is, we allow and tolerate so much nonsense from the so-called African freedom fighters. We must do all. We, we must do all we can to uphold the dignity and value of our country. No country is immune from what we are today. But the truth is, we will continue to be better with us, within us. This has caused mixed reactions um, among Nigerians, as some actually called that Gaba for such comments. Some of them included. They said, look, the prof didn't say anything wrong, but the truth, we should call it paid by its name, please. This is actually a practical Nigerian. This one here is saying, isn't it obvious for every person to see that our parliamentarians are there for their stomach, so corrupt and lacks foresight? This one here is saying, Gaba, focus on the message and disregard his nationality. They are indeed horrible members, not honorable members. He was bluntly raw with the truth and you are furious because you are a young, future, horrible member too. Nigerians are getting really angry because of some of the words being used. Okay, but let's continue. This one here is saying, Na camera man, wicked. Oops, how person go camera go 
honorable face when we can confirm whether now horrible member them be. <laughs> this one here is saying, did the Kenyan invite himself? No. Be no be wanna take on our money, invite him. <laughs> this one here is saying, for me, nothing is wrong with his speech. Lobomba is a Pan African social justice activist. He's speaking to the entire continent, not Nigeria alone. That's actually very true. This one here says truth is there. Truth is truth, anywhere, anytime, regardless who speaks it. That's his own way of giving to Nigerians. If they had done their job well, no one would have talked down at them. Oops, a lot of Nigerians are also talking out. Uh, this one here is saying, why are you not happy with him saying the truth? This is the problem with you so-called Nigerians and leaders. You guys hate the truth because you are all guilty of it. All right, Nigerians have actually, everybody's coming all out, some are for, some are against. But let's look at this very critically. Did Professor Lubumba say anything very terrible? Uh, was he just dancing to the gallery? Was he just saying things for the camera? Have we heard or seen some of the things he said? Can we, let's remove Professor Lubumba from the picture. What he said, was it wrong? As in, was there no fact in what he said? Have our honorable members, have they not been attending funerals upon funerals of those people being brought down by both Boko Haram, Fulani headsmen, and all manner of, you know, people, insurgents here and there? It's not, the message is very bitter, but honestly, it's the truth staring us in the faces. If nobody would talk down on something that is good, Everybody likes to lick something, take something that is juicy and sweet. But the very bitter one is maybe difficult to swallow, but if you take it, it's good for you. Like one person rightly said in the, one of the commentaries said, uh, you know, take the message, forget the messenger, but take the message. Nigeria have too many potentials. We got gold, we got iron ore, we got solid minerals, we got um we got petroleum, liquid, liquid gold. We got um, uh, uh, solid oils. We got we got mineral resources, natural resources, human resources. We have one of the best weather conditions in the world. We have one of the best environmental you know situations in the world. We are so blessed in Nigeria. We don't have stories like tsunami, hurricane, and some other countries of the world suffer such. We don't. We have one of the best landscapes in the world. And yet, the only problem we have is corruption in leadership. Some countries have seen worse. Too much has been given to Nigeria. Too much is expected from Nigeria as a nation from the continent of Africa. Honestly, at this rate, Nigeria have actually failed Africa. We need to rise up from our shackles. We need to rise up from our, our dunghill. We need to take our throne again. How do we do it? You and I. We got to change the narrative. We got to change the status quo. We got to make Nigeria great again. How do we do it? The change begins with you and I. Painful as it is, but that's the truth staring us in the face. Gaba, Gaba, Adamu Gaba shouldn't take it personal. It's just the truth staring us in the face.